but the solution to pollution by dilution is fallacious when it comes to radiation because it reconcentrates back in your body. Okay? That is one of the strangest things I hear among anti-nuclear activists, that you can't dilute nuclear fallout. It's an ultimately supernatural concept that induces an incredible amount of unnecessary fear, which is to say radiophobia. And Caldecott makes this claim boilerplate style, as we can see in this interview. The solution to pollution by dilution is fallacious when it comes to radiation because, as I've explained, the food chain reconcentrates back the radioactive elements. But the solution to pollution by dilution is fallacious when it comes to radiation because it reconcentrates back in your body. The argument that Caldecott would like to be true is that the process of bioaccumulation which increases the concentration of pollutants inside versus outside an organism, is sufficient to reverse the dilution of radionuclides in the environment. So now let's acquaint ourselves with reality. These graphs show levels of fallout in the ocean around Fukushima, and they demonstrate that fallout in seawater around Fukushima has been progressively decreasing since 2011. In other words, the fallout is diluting, which is to say its parts per million are decreasing. These graphs in turn show the levels of fallout in fish in Japanese waters. These levels have also been decreasing since 2011. These two graphs are from a study just published. The graph on the left shows the decrease of fallout in seawater and the graph on the right shows a decrease in fallout in fish, in both cases in Japanese waters. What these data show is that external dilution of fallout corresponds with a decrease in internal fallout. In other words, bioaccumulation is not reversing the effects of dilution. So Caldecott's claim is obviously falsified, 